Hello, hello, come on in. Hey, it's Cheryl from Simply Share Share. Today I've teamed up with 3M to show you five easy upgrades that you can do yourself to help refresh your home. Spring is the perfect time to tackle those projects that seem to be left on your to-do list. And my to-do list seems to be never ending. You only get one chance to make a good impression. This hallway is an area that I would just ignore. I painted the walls dark, as you can see, and that created this really dramatic effect as you walked into the kitchen. It was so dark in this hallway that my friends used to call it the abyss. Now my goal is to create a bright and inviting entryway that's organized and has a place for all my shoes. Before I get started, I'm going to use the Scotch Blue Original Painter's Tape to map out where I'm gonna put my shelves. Now it's time to change the wall color. Can't wait to organize my shoes. Let's get the shelves up. And now my friends, AKA my high heels, are off the floor and have a brand new home. One room down, four to go. Let's move on to the kitchen. This is where I like to keep things flexible. My kitchen is the center of all the action. Not only do I use this space as my office, but this is where I shoot all of my YouTube videos. I need a flexible lighting solution that I can use when I'm entertaining at night, but I can remove when I'm filming during the day. Now I'm gonna show you how to make the most adorable DIY LED light fixture that's gonna create a lot of drama over your table. Here's what you'll need. Wood dowels about 3 8 of an inch diameter, invisible string, LED tea lights, various feathers, or to make it easier, use a boa. Open the bottom of the tea light and place a piece of invisible string across the center and put back the cover. Measure the feather boa around the circumference of the tea light and cut to length. Secure with a few dabs of hot glue and continue doing this with the rest of the tea lights and then tie them onto the dowel. For the individual feathers, simply cut off the end, add a dot of glue and insert the invisible string. You can tie two feathers together and hang them off the tea light. Time to hang the fixture. First, I need to prep and clean the ceiling. Next, place the command clear wire hooks on the ceiling and wait for an hour to adhere. Now all you have to do is turn the LED lights on, hang the dowel with some invisible string onto the hooks, and the fixture will look like it's floating in the air. Let's head over to the living room where I'm gonna add character to something new. My living room is great because it's open concept and I like to keep things flexible. I picked up this wooden bench that's perfect for extra seating when I'm entertaining. I love the mix of old and new, so I'm gonna give this bench a weathered look. This is so easy. Just mix one part latex paint with one part water and mix really well. Sand the bench and wipe off any dust with a scotch bright scrub sponge. Then apply a thin coat of the mixture to the wood. Let the paint dry overnight. Then you can take the scrub side of the sponge and start to distress the edges and corners to really highlight the shape of the bench. To give it some personality, I'm gonna tape off the bottom of the legs using the Scotch Blue Delica Tape and then spray paint them gold. If you want, you can always add a sealant to protect your masterpiece. In the bedroom, it's time to get organized. I am totally guilty of throwing all of my jewelry into a box and then having the worst time finding things when I'm getting ready in the morning. I'm kicking my bad habits starting today and I'm gonna show you how to make the most adorable jewelry organizer using this old tray. Before you paint, give the tray a quick sand and wipe off any dust or debris. Apply three coats of paint and leave to dry overnight. I wanted to add a fun, geometric shape so I used Scotch Blue Delicate Tape to create my shape. Then all I had to do was apply gold spray paint to the tray and it matches the rest of my projects. Check out all of these awesome command hooks and clips that I can use to hang my necklaces and bracelets and pretty much anything I want. Ooh, I feel like I'm a kid in the candy store. Now I just need to space them out, adhere them to the tray, and while I'm waiting for the adhesive to stick, I'm gonna separate my jewelry. Now I can set out all of my jewelry for the entire week, which means more time for sleeping. Last but not least, Let's create a cool focal point in my guest bedroom. Small space living means that you need to use every single inch that you've got. I had this Murphy bed made to keep my second bedroom flexible when I have friends and family stay over. However, when the bed is down, my friends just stare at a blank wall. I swear I'm a designer. Like I said, it was on my to-do list. Here's an easy project that's gonna add a lot of personality to the space and create a boutique feel for my guests. For the headboard, I'm going to vary the sizes of tape to create a striped V pattern. I'm using the Scotch Blue Delicate Painter's Tape 
in different widths to create lots of interest. And to keep things really easy, I'm using the tape as a spacer, which means that I don't have to draw on the wall. Once the pattern is complete, just remove the tape where you want the paint to go and let's get rolling. I honestly say that I've got a serious crush on this tape because you get crisp lines every time. To add some depth, I'm adding one last surprise. Yep, a gold stripe. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Thanks so much for watching and if you love this video, make sure to give me a like and head over to the 3M website to find out more about these helpful products. The links are in the description box below. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to Simply Share Share. I'll see you next time. That's a wrap.